This presentation describes the key concepts of the Active Directory directory service in Microsoft Windows 2000. We'll cover an overview of Active Directory and what it contains, how it's structured, and how Active Directory relates to network topology. Active Directory is the directory service used in Windows 2000. A directory service stores information about all the resources on a network, such as users, groups, computers, files, printers, and applications. Plus, it provides all the services that make the information available and useful. Active Directory stores information about resources in a hierarchical structure. It contains objects that represent the different types of network resources, users, printers, and so on. Each object has attributes, such as a user's first name, last name, and email address, or a printer's asset number and location. Now let's look at how the Active Directory is structured. Objects are maintained in a domain. A domain is the basic unit of organization and security in Active Directory. Within a domain, objects can be organized into logical containers called organizational units, or OUs. Using OUs, you can create a hierarchy that duplicates the structure of your organization. Even more importantly, you can delegate some administrative responsibilities for these smaller units. While an administrator has full administrative rights for the entire domain, a user, such as a department or team manager, can be granted rights for a particular subtree of OUs or even a single OU. Although OUs are useful for delegating administrative responsibility within a domain, multiple domains are useful for networks where administration is done by separate authorities, as in an international organization where resources may be maintained in different languages. Multiple domains can form a domain tree. The root domain is always created first. It becomes the parent domain to child domains that are added directly below it. Each domain in a tree is assigned a name using the hierarchical domain naming system, or DNS. As other domains are joined to the tree, the name of the child is added to the parent's name, reflecting their relationship. To make network resources globally available to users, by default, Active Directory transparently joins domains through two-way transitive trust relationships. Trust relationships make a domain's resources available to users in other domains. Transitive means that the trust relationships carry through automatically to other domains in the tree. So, users in one domain may have access to resources anywhere in the tree, except, of course, to resources that have been restricted. The tree model of multiple domains can be extended to create a forest of trees for organizations that need to maintain separate organizational structures, such as a company that needs distinct public identities for its subsidiaries. Although each tree can have different naming schemes, they share three things. Transitive trust relationships between any domain within the forest, a common schema, the complete set of object types, and they share the comprehensive global catalog. The global catalog holds all the objects for all domains, so it's easy for users to locate a specific object anywhere in the enterprise. To keep query response times fast, the global catalog maintains only a subset of attributes for each object. The global catalog is automatically replicated to those domain controllers throughout a forest that are designated as global catalog servers. Domain controllers manage active directory information and user domain interactions including directory searches across the enterprise. For example, if a marketing manager in the Minneapolis office wanted to send a hard copy of a file to the subsidiary in Paris, she could query the Active Directory Global Catalog for a printer on the second floor of the office on Rue Lafayette. The Global Catalog resolves the query and returns the location. Finally, let's look at how Active Directory relates to network topology. To optimize Active Directory performance, it may be beneficial to divide a network into sites, especially if it has geographically separate locations connected by slow links. A site is one or more IP subnets connected by a high-speed link. Sites help reduce Active Directory traffic, such as workstation logon and replication. 
For example, when a user logs on, Windows 2000 will try to find a domain controller in the same site as the user's computer to validate the logon request. Staying within the same site serves to reduce unnecessary traffic between domain controllers, and the network operates more efficiently. In addition, replication of Active Directory between sites can be scheduled for off-peak hours when demand for resources between sites is usually lower. Active Directory enables users to access resources and administrators to secure resources across the enterprise network.